What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do an oil change on a 2017 BMW 330i. Now this oil change will apply to most of the BMWs within the same year range with the 2.0 liter engine. So I'll plug those in in the caption if I can too as well. But let's get started. First what I like to do before I even jack up the car or put it on jack stands or anything is I'll go ahead and take off the engine cover. After that, go ahead and take off the oil cap. Just put that aside. Make sure you don't get any debris in there. That would not be good. And then next, what I like to do is go ahead and unscrew the oil cap just a little bit. So some of that oil tends to drain down to the oil pan instead of just being stuck right there. Like for example, if I were to just go ahead and pull that out right now, a bunch of oil is just gonna leak out of it because it's not fully drained. So if you unscrew it just a little bit, it'll allow it to drain through. So by the time you're done draining all the oil at the bottom, you'll be good to just pull it out. So you have these two wires in the way. What you wanna do is go ahead and push these two tabs towards the driver's side or the left side of the car and just pull it up. And then you could have a little bit more room for that oil filter. And now for that oil filter, you're going to need a, I believe this is a 27 inch socket. Sorry, not 27 inch, 27 millimeter socket. And you wanna go ahead and just unscrew it a little bit. Not too much. If you're unscrewing too much, you'll have some oil drip down on the sides. It's kinda hard to do with two hands or one hand. Put the phone down. So because it's such an awkward angle, I like to put a swivel socket on there. It makes it a little easier. All right, now that we have our oil filter loosened up and we have the oil cap off, we wanna go ahead and safely jack up the car, put it on jack stands, put it on ramps, whatever you gotta do to get the car up in the air. Okay, once you have the car up jacked and put on jack stands safely, go ahead and grab a ratchet, possibly a small extension and a 17 millimeter socket. And grab yourself an oil pan and get under the car. I forgot to mention, you also need a flathead screwdriver before you go down there. Okay, so once you're down under the car, right by where the center of the drive line is, a little bit back towards the middle of the car, you'll see this little panel with a little cover right there. Go ahead and grab your flathead screwdriver. And just twist that so it's that way. Go ahead and pop that panel open. And that will reveal your 17 millimeter drain plug. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and grab your socket. Make sure you have your oil pan ready. We just got back from driving about an hour, so this will be extremely hot. I don't have a rag nearby, which is not good. Let me grab that first, actually. Now, once you have your rag in hand, ideally you want to use gloves too, but you know I ran out of those. Go ahead and loosen it up. These tend to drip pretty fast. So let's see if I can do this without burning myself. Like I said, this is extremely hot, so be careful. Ideally, you want to wait a little bit. I might have to drop this directly into the oil pan. I'm gonna try not to. I'm burning my hand pretty bad as I'm doing this. I uh, know this is not a good idea. That was extremely hot. That was oil going everywhere. It's probably all over my camera now. Try not 
try not to make a mess like I did. I think I got some on my face as well. But you want to just let that drain for a little bit. I'm gonna try to go ahead and recover the oil drain plug. It's extremely hot. Honestly, I would try to wait at least like 30 minutes before you do an oil change on your car. You wanna keep letting that drain, honestly. Depends on how long you wanna keep going. This will probably keep dripping for about an hour, but you just need to let it sit for about five minutes and you'll be okay. Okay, so on your drain plug, there is a copper washer. You wanna go ahead and take that out. And usually the oil filter you buy will come with one. So go ahead and put that on there before you screw it, screw it back on. It's been dripping for about five minutes, so you should be okay now. Try not to burn yourself. Go ahead and tighten it up. You don't want to tighten it up too much, but obviously you don't want to keep it loose. Let the copper washer do its job. Go ahead and put that cover back up there and just turn this this way, 180 degrees. And now you're all set on the bottom. You can go ahead and pretty much take the car off the jacks and jack stands at this point. So once you have the car jacked back down or taken off the jack stands, I guess you could say, go ahead and grab your filter, make your way back up to the top. I like to grab just any pan or something just because the filter tends to get a little messy. I'm gonna go ahead and grab your socket again and actually just finish loosening that up. Depending how much you loosen that, you could do it by hand. In my case, I can't, so I have to go grab my ratchet again. Once you have the appropriate tools needed, go ahead and just finish on loosening that. Just remember, it is extremely hot. Go ahead and remove it. It's gonna get a little messy. This is actually really hard to do with one hand. Hold on. You wanna kinda of move these wires a little bit. Careful not to break them. and pull that out of there like so put it up there put it looks like down there not kind of messy but not too bad let's hit it with a little bit of brake cleaner and it'll come right off go ahead and pop that oil filter off there another tool that's useful but not necessarily needed is a pick i'll show you why in a second go ahead and remove the oil filter from the housing like i said you want to use gloves you also get oil everywhere like me. Go ahead and grab the pick. And remove it. Go ahead and grab your new O-ring from your oil filter. You want to lube it up. My hands are covered in oil, so I'm honestly just going to use my hands. Just throw that back on there. Make sure you put it on that proper groove right there. Go ahead and grab your new oil filter. Actually, don't grab your new oil filter. This, we're gonna go put it in that hole instead. I'll show you. So you actually wanna go ahead and grab your filter. Make sure you have the nipple side down. Put it in the hole. And you actually wanna 
spin it around and there's gonna be a point where it's gonna fit right in. It only really fits in one way. So once that's nice in there and snug, go ahead and grab your oil cap. It's actually a little easier to put that in there. Go ahead and put it on there and just tighten it. You might need to press down a little bit as you're tightening it, but should go in fairly smooth. So once you go ahead and have the oil filter tightened down, go ahead and grab a funnel. I had to make one because I didn't have one. And we're gonna go and put oil in the car. Now these particular 2.0s, I think it's the B48 and the B46s, they call for 5.25 liters of zero W20. You could, that's equivalent to about 5.55 quarts, I believe. Go ahead and carefully put in the oil. Oh, it might just spill the oil everywhere. That's not good. You want to be extremely cautious and not do what I just did. So that's five quarts. I'm going to go ahead and put a little over half of the little bottle. Now, if you're like me, and you end up making a huge mess, I'm not sponsored by AutoZone, but go ahead and grab some brake cleaner. And just spray, spray, spray. Try not to get this on like any crazy gaskets. I know this tends to like dry out some plastics. Once you have the area clean there, you go ahead and go to where the oil filter was and just spray a little bit. Go ahead and grab these two clips, put it back where they belong. Should snap right in. Go ahead and grab your engine cover. And that's pretty much how you do an oil change on a 2017 BMW 330i. Like I said, I'm gonna plug in on the, on the captions below or whatever it's called, the description. What other cars this also applies to. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.